This area here uh, is the new arc section. Uh, MSP 3140s, tri lights over there. Typically, uh, the MSP 3140s, they come on a CTS computer to screen and a regular system. Uh, these units here typically will put out about 20 to 30 a month. And on these, we also take ours back in trade. So if you grow up to a CTS and you wanted to get a CTS system, we absolutely will take yours back in trade because we have customers waiting for them. This is the regular MSP 3140, instant on bulb. The system is set up so that you can run through. You got to go through glass, got to go through a vacuum. So the instant on is okay for this type of an application. When you go to the CTS system, you've got a shutter system. So the bulb always stays on. Mm -hmm. It's at a low voltage, uh, low energy drain, but it stays on. You've got steps here that you can put your tracks in to hold a single screen or two screens at one time. Since you're not going through vacuum, you're not going through glass when you choose uh, CTS, this will just flip on, go to high power. It'll be on for about 30 seconds, flip off, pull your screens out, take them to wash. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, this is the one you want. Yeah. Go into this area here, you go into the uh, AMP schematic. Here's the 840s, you get 840s, 895s, uh, bagger sealers. We even make a package. You know when they uh, shoot the t-shirts off and they're rolled up? We make the machine that rolls those t-shirts as well. So that it come out folded, then rolls it, then bands it. Here's your drive system, it's all one belt. Serpentine belt system, reverse the uh, rollers and everything, but all off of one drive. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a, a direction sheet that will go here to tell you if you ever have to replace it, exactly how the belt goes. When the machines are running, they're so quiet now, where the old ones chains and rattle and everything, these are so quiet now, we had to put an auto shutdown mode. So if you don't cycle this after about 15 minutes, it'll shut itself off because you'll go home and forget that it's on. They're that quiet. Here, every day, they do about 120 photos of parts. And that's growing our database of parts every day so we can support the customers with old machines. Or if we don't have a part in stock or something very old, and we don't have an opportunity to take a photo, when someone orders that part and it comes in, we'll quickly take a photo so we have it for our store and then process the part on through. This area back through here is for obsolete machines. When uh, most customers, or most manufacturers, when they stop producing the machine, they stop supporting. Well, we have such a quantity and we feel we have such a commitment to the industry that we'll actually uh, pre-stock product for machines that are 18, 20 years old. Because when those parts disappear and you can't get them again because they're obsolete from the manufacturer, then it's a real problem. So we try to pre-buy. If our vendors are going to discontinue a product, they have an obligation to notify us that they're going to discontinue a specific product. We will get a one-time last buy. And I'll give you an example of what that does. I'll show you over through here. These are operator interfaces. Everything you see here is our last time buy when these products went out. The last time we used a Mitsubishi E150 was probably 10 years ago mm -hmm. and we'll sell five or six a year maybe to support the customers. There's the unit Yeah. for the very old machines. 25 years of support there yeah. for a product that hasn't been made in the last 12 years. But that way a customer has an opportunity to purchase it. It's an expensive ordeal, but it's doable. So we'll do a one-time buy and typically your minimum run on a, the last, our last run, they'll run maybe 250 pieces for you. So that's why you see these bins and all of this stuff. Even some of these vendors come to us mm -hmm. to try to get a component for their customers. But it's very old. This, the original Challengers, this was made for a Challenger Series 1. 
in 1989. So if you don't have this, you're never going to be able to put the carriage back together. But you still have them for 1989 machines. Parks Department has their own uh, inventory of pallets. So that way, if you call in and order parts, uh, see a standard pallet system, a 1622 and 1822, a 10 and 12 are sleeved. They typically have those in stock to be able to ship the same day. Mm -hmm.